Today on Be Something Wonderful, these three words bend reality no matter what. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Good morning, creators. I have a massive video this morning. I was so excited every once in a while, not every once in a while, more than ever now, I have a session that I'm so excited about to make a video about that I stay up half the night <laughs> to prepare it. And this is one of them. I had a late afternoon session. I couldn't wait to dig into this. This is a client that I've met with a few times now. And it, it's about a specific person, but again, it's about manifesting anything. And this is so big today because with, with her, it was sort of going back and forth with her specific person, right? Not really getting a commitment of what he did. He was just not sure of what he wanted. She is sure of what she wants. And, and, and so, she, so our sessions have been about, she goes, Tom, I was about to book a session. That I'm going to tell you what happened with her SP and then why she wanted to, why she was ready to book a session and talk to me about it. And then she said, well, then I just decided before I do that, I'm going to look at my notes from our other sessions together. And then, and then she goes, it occurred to me, and I really brushed over this, but you said several times in our sessions, there's only one step. There's only one process. There's only one reality. She goes, I totally, I, I got it. I think I got it, but I, I didn't really get it. And she goes, and then, and then as I watched your videos, your recent videos, it hit me. It hit me that there's only one step. There's only one process. I'm going to talk to you what that means. So she looked over her notes. So she goes, this is, so she had said this before she had done that, right? Because she was feeling down. She feeling like she wanted to book a session. She, her and her SP or specific person had a conversation and she said to him, I want someone to be there with me through it all, no matter what. This is what she said to him. And, and then she said, I want that. What do you want? Right? And he didn't answer. So again, there's still, she's trying to get an answer through that, through, through the 3D circumstances and conditions, pressing him. Right? And, and again, the, the, this is these conversations. Then it hit her. She looked over the notes. What, what, watch the recent videos, has been watching all of the videos, you know, has been, a, has been a subscriber, so has really absorbed the material, but then it hit her, it never really hit her before that God's source is with her no matter what. And, and there's only one step in realizing and manifesting anything you want, it's realizing that you don't need anything else. Hear this, that God's with you no matter what. That, that that's the step, that realization, that, that, that when you imagine something, when you affirm it, when you declare it, when you announce it, it's one step. The manifestation of it the, is, is the step that the imagining and the manifestation are one step. It's all done. Stand in that no matter what, right? And then this is so big right? This is so big. This is why, and so she did book a session, but, but not until this happened. She goes, four days later, he sent me a text. I want that. Sent her a text just with those words, I want that. In other words, what do you want? I want that. I want to be there together with you this is giving me guys a little, I'm getting a little goosebumps and chills with this. Every once in a while, something hits me and levels me up. And this client leveled me. We leveled up together with this one. And four days later, he sent me a text, I want that. And then sent flowers to her office with a note, no matter what. I'm almost getting a few, a, a little emotional here because this is so big. No matter what, I want that no matter what. God is with me, source is with me no matter what. God has my back no matter what. This is huge. Let's unpack it. <laughs> if I can hold it together here, wow. No matter what is the key to transforming and transcending your reality right now. Looking at, looking, seeing yourself, 
seeing others and seeing conditions as you would like them to be no matter what. This is what she did. This is what I want no matter what. This is the way I'm going to look at the world no matter what. This is the way I'm going to see reality no matter what. This is the way I'm going to imagine, affirm, do subliminals no matter what. Doesn't matter what the process is, right? Steps and processes can be useful when first learning how to use your imagination for sure and they're still useful. Divine cre- it's your divine creative power. When using your imagination, that divine creative power. But it's, it's about having that realization, that knowing that God is with you no matter what. That your reality is there no matter what. It's one step. You imagine it, you want it, you declare it, and it's there. To, that's why Neville Goddard said to desire a state is to have it. It's there, right? But the realization and awareness that you are the steps and process bends reality immediately to your will because you are reality. Remember, you're, you're, God wills for you what you will. So the realization and awareness that you are the steps and process, that there's only one step and you are it, and there's only one process and you are it, bends reality immediately to your will because you are reality and it bent to her will. Wow. <laughs> You imagining your life as you desire it to be equals experiencing imagining, in other words, manifesting your life as, as you desire it, not your, as your life as you desire it to be. There's no objective reality. There's just you imagining and announcing reality and then the experience and manifestation of it. There's only one step. There's only one reality. There's only one substance. There's only one love. There's only one God. There's only one you. One, 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 as Ernest Holmes said from Science of the Mind. I know, I'm I'm pumped here, guys, because this is amazing. I'm touched, I'm pumped, I'm I'm pumped, I'm emotional. This is so big today, right? This client, we just leveled up and laughed together, a hearty laugh, right? Oh my God, Tom, I see it. There's only one step. In other words, there's only here and now. There's only what you are seeing and perceiving and imagining right now, right here. There's only how you see yourself, see others, and see conditions right now. That's imagining. That's imagination. That's God. That's reality. I I remembered reality wrong. I was wrong about everything. And she started laughing. That's, remember, that's the quote from Solaris. That's the Chris Kelvin quote. The George Clooney played Chris Kelvin. I remembered reality wrong. I was wrong about everything. Do not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. There's no spoon. Do you get it? You're the spoon. You're reality. You're the step. You're the process. It's only one step. There's only one spoon, but there's no spoon. It's you, right? Wow, right? Then you'll see that it's not the spoon that bends. It's only yourself. It's from the matrix. We had discussed that. Right? She realized this, that it's only her that bends. It's only her standing and seeing reality and seeing conditions and seeing him and seeing everything else the way she wants to see it. Like Bashar said, the conditions have no meaning without you. You give them all the meaning. Ultimate reality is within you and outside of you. Gospel of Thomas. That's what Jesus meant. Ultimate reality is within you and outside of you, meaning you are ultimate reality. It's inside of you and outside of you. You must be ultimate reality. Wow. Jesus, I am, was saying you are the only reality. There's nothing else to be known except that. Right? Ultimate reality is inside of you and outside of you. You're the only reality. When you know yourselves, then you'll be known. Verse 3 of Gospel of Thomas. Right? Wow. When you know yourself, when you know yourself as reality, you'll be known. Right? You'll, you'll know everything to be known. You'll be that reality. You, everything you want will fall on your lap. The, the kingdom is yours. You'll, the, and you'll realize that you're the children of the living source. This is also from verse 3 of Gospel of Thomas. You realize that, that this is what Jesus was saying when he was asking his disciples, but who do you say I am? Right? And then, then finally, Peter answers, you are Christ, the son of the living God, the son of the living source. You realize this, that it's only you one step, one reality, one process. And as you stand in that and only see and perceive things as you want them to be, they must be it. Wow. 
to be, she goes, to be honest. So we had a huge discussion. It was such an um, amazing session. We went way over, right? I didn't care. I loved it, right? We were both leveling up. We, we, we talked for nearly two hours, right? I don't have a two hour session. This was amazing. To be honest, when, the fir- when I first found you in your channel, I didn't understand the thing. I get that a lot. <laughs> And I get it, guys, you know, but as I watched more and more, it began to make sense, right? It was, this is what a gospel in Thomas says, Jesus says in a gospel of Thomas, or no, this is what she said. Then I want to compare her words to a gospel, the gospel of Thomas. She goes, it was disturbing at times. I disturbed her. I guys, I am giddy. This is powerful. I and I, although I knew what I didn't know, or and though I knew what I didn't know, or at least realize it, it's amazing, right? She just it was disturbing at times. She didn't know what she didn't know, and that, and that now she now she knows what she she didn't think she knows. It's something like that, right? <laughs> it's amazing, she said, right? I. And, and so I, I knew what I didn't know. She already knew it, right? It was already there. It seemed disturbing, but that knowing was already there. She goes, it was amazing. And then Jesus in the Gospel of Thomas says, whoever seeks shouldn't stop until they find. And when they find, they'll be disturbed. You'll be disturbed, right? And when they're disturbed, they'll be amazed and then reign over everything. This is exactly what happened to her, right? This is so powerful. That's a Gospel of Thomas. So... Remember, there's only one step. You perceiving and seeing yourself and others and conditions as you would like them to be, as the only reality. So powerful. This is the big message today. There's no spoon. Everything must bend to your perceiving and seeing no matter what. Everything must bend to your perceiving and seeing no matter what. Your seeing and perceiving is the manifesting and experiencing of reality. It is equal to manifesting and experiencing reality. There's no other step. There's no out there. There's no other process. There's nothing else to do. That's it. Those three words, no matter what, really bend reality and, and change everything, no matter what. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for, uh, if you've joined our membership channel, there's a link below. Thank you for joining that. I released a video yesterday on the membership channel. More coming on that channel. Thank you for joining our Facebook group, uh, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. Thanks for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime for all that information and more at TomKaren.com or be something wonderful.com. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom with Be Something Wonderful. We'll see you soon.